Hey Sunshines! Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that we are already in 2019. I feel like 2018 just flew by. And while 2018 was a great year for me, I hope that 2019 will be even better. And with a new year comes new resolutions and new goals. So that's what this video is all about. I just want to tell you guys what my New Year's resolutions and goals are for 2019. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first two resolutions, I feel like they kind of go together, and that is just eating healthier and be more active. These are on my list every year, and I always struggle with them, but I feel like they are so important. You know, with, with eating healthier, it's just being conscious of what's going into your body and just making the decisions to put better things into your body. You know, so like when you want, fr you know, instead of getting french fries, maybe get a side salad. Or when you want ice cream, you know, maybe get some fruit or something. It's just being aware of what you're putting into your into your body and know what you're putting in your body. And I feel like in order to be healthier, you also need to be more active. And for me, I always struggle with being active because I have such bad back pain. But my goal this year is to walk for 20 to 30 minutes every day. But at first, I'm just going to start with every other day because with the back pain, I can't just go into it immediately. I'm going to have to work my way up to it. And then once I can walk every day for 20 or 30 minutes, I do want to add in some yoga because I just feel like that will stretch my back and it will help the pain from the walking and everything else. So I just feel like that's something that I really need to do this year. And then my third resolution is just to create a morning and night routine. Um, I've never really been a morning person, so I just feel like if I have that morning routine, it will help me start my day and get ready for the day, and I won't feel like I wasted half my day because I didn't start getting ready for the day until, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock. Um, and then with the night routine, I feel like this will help me just because I don't really have a certain time that I go to bed or anything. I just go to bed when I get tired. But I feel like if I had, you know, a certain time that I needed to do this and just, you know, even if I'm just laying in the bed, I just feel like that would help me because it would help me to get ready for the next day and be able to, to get up even, to get up even earlier than I, I normally do. So I just feel like having that morning and night routine will really help me this year. And then my last two resolutions also go together. And so my fourth resolution is just to watch less TV. I don't have cable but I do have Netflix and Hulu and I just feel like they're always on when I'm at home and I've been spending a lot of time at home lately. You know, so if I'm in the, in the living room, if I'm cleaning up, the, the, you know, I have Netflix or, or Hulu playing. You know, if I'm in our bedroom cleaning up, Netflix or, or Hulu is playing. And I just feel like they're always on. So my goal this year is just to find something else to do with some of my time besides just watching Netflix and Hulu. You know, like I could do a project around the house or get out and do my walking or do yoga. You know, just, just get out of the house and do something other than watch Netflix and Hulu. Which leads me into my last resolution, which is just to read more. Which I know seems pretty simple, but I know that life can get hectic and you don't always have time to do everything that you want to do and my goal is actually to read one book a month and right now I have about eight books that I need to read so that gets me through a little over half the year so I would just need to figure out so you know I'll just have to get some books for the last part of the year and you know I could even take some of that time to read that I'm watching Netflix and Hulu you know I could set two or three two or three hours aside every day to read and I already know what kind of books I like, but this would also be a time to dig into different kinds of books and see, you know, what else I might like besides what I already read. So anyways guys, that's it for my New Year's resolutions. And hopefully I can stick with them because I struggle every year to stick with whatever my New Year's resolutions were for that year. And I cannot wait to see what the rest of 2019 has in store for me. And I hope that you guys like this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.